Hey guys, Alex here from Top Tennis Training and in this video we're going to cover when you should approach the net in tennis. So a lot of my students, for example, they'll, they'll struggle to understand when they should be approaching in either doubles or in a single situation. The first thing you must understand is you must have your body momentum going forward. So this means you have to be behind the ball, the ball has to be in front of you, and as you're hitting it, your body has to be transferring forward through the shot so that you can maintain that momentum and carry on running through the shot and going forward into the net. What you don't want to do is to be going backwards, hitting the shot, running back, and then having to change your, your, your body balance, your body weight to try and move forward again. You'll, waste, you'll simply waste too much time in order to come forward effectively. So you're looking for that slightly shorter ball. It could be a slightly slower ball. If it's a slow ball, it's easier to come forward, but as long as it's shorter, you can come into it, you can hit the ball, move your body weight forward, and then follow the, the, follow the path of the ball and get into the net. Now, the best times to do that is when one, you have an opponent with a weakness, so perhaps they don't like hitting their backhand. If they don't like hitting their backhand, if you approach into that side, into their weakness, often it rushes them, often it makes them feel like they have no time or they have to come up with something special because you're forcing play, you're coming forward against them, they have to hit something, something extra, something good, and therefore they are more likely to miss. Another great way to approach is against a player who hits the ball flat. Now if you approach with especially the slice and you manage to keep that ball low, a player that hits the ball flat is unable to dip the ball into your feet. So you're always going to get a volley that's around kind of hip level or it's going to go high and if they hit it hard they end up hitting the ball long. So players that don't possess a lot of topspin are very easy targets for you to come forward against. Those people that slice the ball are very good targets to come forward against. If you see that a player can on, does, only has a slice on their backhand, if they're not comfortable hitting a topspin, if you hit into that side and come forward, the only shot that they really have is to try and dip the ball into, their, into your feet with a slow ball. If you anticipate it and you move forward and close the net quick enough, you can put those balls away with ease. If they end up hitting the normal shot, if they end up just hitting a slice, a slice travels slower through the air than a topspin or a flat shot. So a slicer is very vulnerable to a player that's coming forward. They're unable to pass with great speed. So because that ball floats, it stays in there for a little bit longer, it gives you the opportunity to get in, to get close into the net and put that ball away. That slice simply doesn't have the dipping power that a topspin has. So use it to great effect. Another great chance to come forward against uh, a player that you're playing against in the matches is when you serve. So the return often doesn't come deep enough. So serve, third shot and come forward. You can run in because your body weight is moving forward, but you can also use it as a serve and volley tactic because the serve is an aggressive shot. You're hitting an aggressive shot, therefore you can follow an aggressive shot forward. And because a serve naturally has the momentum of your body moving forward into it, you can actually start moving forward after the shot, after the serve, into the net.
often the players give a little bit of height on their serve. So even a slightly spinnier serve or a slightly more sliced serve uh, can also be a great one to approach. <laughs> because you have more time to reach the net before your opponent hits it, before you have to make that split step. So often it's not just the people that f hit the ball really fast, but also those players that can spin the ball and hit the ball with slice are also uh, good serves to come forward and, and, and serve and volley uh, against the player who, who's returning against you. Sometimes if you're on a rally, you get your opponent out of position, a great chance to come forward is if you see that space and you take time away from your opponent, you rush that opponent and you come forward against them. So approaching into space is also a great way to win the point. So a few things to remember here. You've got your body weight moving forward into the shot. You want a slightly easier ball. You want a ball that you can come forward and run through and get close to the net and as close to the net as possible. You can play an opponent who doesn't like to either pass or has a weakness on that side. Perhaps they're only using the slice and that slice is not, is not an effective shot to pass with. Therefore, you can also expose that weakness of the opponent. So, Use the approach shot to great advantage and I hope it helps you in your matches. I hope some of these tips have helped you and you're going to be starting to approach the net a lot more often. Surprise your opponent perhaps in your next doubles match. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, please press the subscribe button under the video, press the like button, leave a comment underneath the video, share it with your friends. We really appreciate all your support. If you haven't done so, also visit our website. We have a VIP section uh, for all our members uh, that uh, you can learn more from us, whether it's your forehand, your backhand, your technique or tactics, anything that you need help with, you can find in our VIP section of our website and the link is under this video. I'll see you again very soon.